This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome back to a brand new After Effects tutorial on the channel. In today's After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a liquid typography animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. This is a very cool effect and it's pretty much trending these days on social media. It looks super cool and it's very interesting and easy to create. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. So you can hit Ctrl N to create a new comp. You can click on this icon or simply create a new composition. Let's call this Final as our render comp or actually call this Render, which makes much more sense. 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and let's go 10 seconds long. Hit OK. So here we have our new comp. Let's create one more composition, which is going to be our text placeholder. For the width, I'll set this to 900. And for the height, I'll set this to 200. Call this text. Hit OK. And then you can add in any text that you want. I'm just going to go with the example text that is not for its fluids and for the font i will be using integral one of my favorite font which is a free font i'll mention the link in the description so you can go ahead and um, download it let's place it adjust the corning and it's looking pretty nice now to add a sense of element and you know an interesting look to the complete typography i'm using this arrow that i just downloaded from Flaticons, which is a free icon website, just like Freepik. Basically, it's a um, it's a website owned by Freepik themselves. So I can just add a fill on this. Let's change the color to white and hit S, scale that down. And you can place it in number of ways. You can also use different elements. Basically, you can also use a logo if you want to. So let's go with something like an arrow, like which looks like this for this example. Hit Ctrl D and I'm going to rotate this by 180 degrees and place it right over here. So we have a nice design which is very simple as well. Also I will be adding a simple text animation so I'll go into animate and let's add a position go into properties and add an opacity. I'll go to around 2 seconds bring down the position to something like 41 and the opacity to zero go into the range selector and into advanced properties let's make some room right over here and i have done this uh you know maybe a thousand times i've showed this technique it's pretty simple all you have to do is set the offset all the way up to 100 create a keyframe go back to zero and set this to minus 100 change the shape from square to ramp up and increase the ease high and ease low all the way up to 100 so we get a nice animation as you can see pretty sweet now i want this animation to keep on looping so in order to do that i can hold alt and click on the offset to add an expression and i will be adding a simple loop out expression which you can find it right over here or you can just simply type in i'm using after effects 2020 but if you are using an older version uh, you may not see this option so you can just manually type in loop out make sure the o is capital and open close parentheses so i'm just gonna double click and now we have a looping animation but that is not what i wanted so i'll go to four seconds and let's copy paste this keyframe so control c control v so we have an out animation as well and then we have an in animation now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investment that will last you for a lifetime plus they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free for more information, check out the link in the description below. 
let's create one more composition which is going to be our pattern comp so this will help us to basically in this composition we will be creating a text pattern or text background whatever that you want to call it let's change the width to 1920 by 1080 just like our main comp hit ok and drag and drop in the text composition that we just created so we have a nice and simple animation you can also animate the arrows if you want to but for now i'm just going to keep it like so you we can later on make the changes if you want to so let's select the text layer going to fix and preset and search for an effect called cc reptile one of a very interesting effect to create duplicates for the comp so let's set this to 2000 actually copy this control c and paste it on the other expand up down and left and if i scale this down you can see we have created this very cool pattern so you can use this in number of different ways i'll set this to around let's go with something like 75 and then i will be using an offset to animate this so let's search for offset double click and we can you know basically animate this just like so so let's bring that down to zero go at the very start create a keyframe on the shift center to I'll go all the way up to 10 seconds and set this to 1000 or 1000 maybe let's go with something like 800 1000 will be too much so we have a nice and simple movement as you can see looks pretty cool maybe I'll go with 900 800 is a bit too slow all right and I will add the nice arrow animations as well for this so let's select the arrows hit P create a keyframe on the position go back and i'm going to bring that out of the frame and then bring that one out of the frame select it hit f9 go into the graph editor if your graph editor doesn't look like this make sure you right click and select edit speed graph let's pull this handle to the left so we have a interesting animation as you can see pretty nice now if i go back into my pattern comp let's see what we have as you can see it's looking pretty nice super cool now to make it look a bit more interesting pattern or background whatever that you want to call it i'm going to duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate this and let's change this position a bit so i can just bring that down maybe place it like so and then i will be adding an effect called fine edges because using this i can generate some stroke by inverting it so you can see we get this really interesting look now you can leave it like that but i want to add a little bit of you know illusion of parallax to this so to do that so i'm going to go all the way up to 10 seconds select the first text layer and set the offset to 1100 so now it's going to be very minimal but you can see we get this really nice parallax between our text or i can just bring down the second offset to 800 so you know you guys can see it much more properly you can see a nice offset between the text all right so our background is ready let's go ahead and create that liquid slimy thing that you saw basically so to do that first we need to create a map to generate that kind of animation and to create a map i'm going to create a new composition called this map underscore o1 let's make the m capital hit ok and then i'm gonna create a new solid layer so hit ctrl y to create a new solid let's make this um, white color and also call this circle underscore o1 let's add a background so hit ctrl y call this pg for background and make this black put this at the back now select the circle I'm going to click and hold and select the ellipse tool hold control and shift at the same time to create a circle just like that and I'm going to add some random movement to this circle so we can just select the circle that we have let's start from right over here and let's hit P to bring down the position create a keyframe on the position go to around 2 second and 5 frames 15 frames I'll move this right here go to five seconds move this one right here 
go to 7.5 that is 7.15 frames move this right here and finally at 10 i'll move it right over here now you see we have a very stiff and linear movement so to make it look a bit more you know a bit, a bit more smooth i'll select the pen tool and if i click on this point it's gonna turn them into bezier parts so i can just you know hold alt and just move this to make them really nice and smooth so i can just click and make them smooth like that make sure you hold alt and create an interesting path oh As you can see it's looking pretty nice let's select this keyframe hold alt and make it something like that yep so that is actually looking pretty good one more cool thing that you can do is make it a bit more curvy instead of going straight i can you know just keep it something like that so that is looking pretty nice let's select this at control d to duplicate it hit p and get rid of the position because we need to animate this again basically also i will um, scale this up so let's scale this to around 150 or something and i'll start this from right over here select the layer hit p create a keyframe go right here let's move this something like that all right and then again the same process i'm gonna do select the pen tool let's some nice curve make sure you hold alt and there we go so you can just basically take your time just move this and finally i'll create the bigger circle so hit control d scale that up to around maybe something like 220 or something and hit p get rid of the position animation let's and i'll start this from right over here create a keyframe go maybe something like that i'm gonna make a let's make this a bit slow because it's a bigger circle and finally i'll add a really simple movement to this so let's go back and select the pen tool again and make it really nice and curvy so something like that and finally i will select all the circles that we have hit f so it's going to bring up mask feather and let's and let's select the mask feather and let's feather them up by around 50. all right looking good maybe scale that up by 250 we can adjust that later don't need to worry about that all right so our, our map is ready let's go back into our main render com that we have and bring down the pattern composition and also let's drag and drop in map one so you can see this map one i can turn that off select the pattern composition so the first effect that we will be using is the cc blobby lies so let's type in cc blobby lies and in the blobbiness you you can see we have this blob layer so in this blob layer i'm going to select the map that we created and boom there we have our really nice liquidy circles which are looking pretty nice simple and easy now I can increase the shape size of this so let's increase them by a little bit just so that it fills up this just so that it fills up the screen a bit more and I get the desired look so it's looking pretty cool you can also play around with number of different things like like I'll change the property to luminance and I can play around with the softness so I can you know increase that if I want to and make them really nice and soft at the edge I can play around with the cutaway so I can bring that down, bring that up. So let's set the cutaway to let's go with something like um, 25 and the softness I'll leave it at 50 because I think that is looking pretty good. 
I can also play around with some light settings that I have. So you can leave the light intensity to 100 or bring that down depending on the look you want to go for or you know go past 100 but that is gonna uh, remove the depth that we get from the light. So I'll just leave it at default. Shading is also at default. And the next effect that I want to add is a nice color to the circle. So I can color this up by using a nice tint. So I can change this to any color that I want. So let's say I'll go with a nice blue color for this. And as you can see, it's looking pretty nice. And I can also add some reflection. Now, before adding reflection, we need also need to create the background for this typography. So I, what I can do is select the pattern, hit Control D, select the second one. And let's change the tint color to white. And we cannot use the same map for this. So we need to, you know, reverse or invert the map that we just created. So what I can do is make sure you select the map one in the project panel, hit Control D. So we have map two, bring that down hide that go into the map to create a new adjustment layer we can call this invert go into fix and preset and add an invert to this right now let's go back into our render comp select the second one and set this to map 2 but you can see it looks pretty weird so all we have to do is increase the cut away just like that now again you can play around with the softness and stuff but you know there we go looks pretty nice and easy but i also want to add some nice reflection because it's kind of a liquidy effect and it, it, it should have a little bit of specularity so to do that i can select the first layer go to effects and preset and add a cc glass effect so it's going to look pretty weird at the moment. Let's jump into the surface. And what I want to do is increase the softness all the way up to 50. And let's bring down the height to around 20. And finally, the displacement, bring that down to 10. And now you can see it's pretty little. So I can just play around with some specularity. So I can increase that. And you can see in this section, you can see the spe specularity that we get and that is what i am going for just a little maybe 85 should be good let's increase the light a bit and boom there we go there we have a nice specularity in the liquid section so you can keep it just like that with perfect circular shape or you can also add some turbulence displacement to this so i can jump back into map one let's select the first shape Go into fix and preset and let's add turbulent displacement. Double click. I'll increase the amount to 100. And then if I just control C and copy paste it on other circles or other layers as well. So hit control V. Copy the same turbulent displace effect right here in the map 2 as well. So hit control V. And now if I go back into my render, you can see we have a weird shapes like turbulent displacement also one thing that i forgot to do is animate the evolution of the turbulence displacement basically so hold alt click on the stopwatch let's add an expression called time times go with 100 for this so it's going to keep on changing shapes as you can see pretty nice i think looks nice so now i can select this turbulent displacement hit ctrl c and paste it on other layers as well and now you can see we have a really interesting liquid typography animation so as you can see it's super simple super easy and looks very very cool you can play around with different number of shapes you can change the background you can animate the text and there is unlimited possibility with this cool effect so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out